boys and girls, you're going to watch a video on exponents. Um, feel free to fast forward to the video or if you watch the first example and you feel like you can do this without any um, explanation from me, you may do so. So I'm going to do the video of the first 10 examples, but like I said, once you see the first two um, examples being done for you, I bet you guys are all pretty smart enough that you can go ahead and not have to watch the video. So the pack is not that bad, 14 problem. Um, I think you can handle that. It's just presented in two different pages. So do the best you can, okay? So the first one, just the opening exercise, reviewing what we did a couple lessons ago on repeated addition and multiplication. So we have to figure out the best way to solve this. Obviously, we don't want to do four plus four plus four plus four plus four. So we definitely want to do the multiplication expression. Four times 10. Okay, and this one would be nine minus five. And then this one would be 10 times 5. I don't think I need to go over that part, okay? So the reason why we're doing this is this is something that students mix up with exponent, that this is repeated addition. Today we're going to talk about exponent. So the first thing you need to understand is how exponent is repeated multiplication, not addition. And we could write this in exponential form, because really how many of you want to write out 5 times 5 times 5? Nobody does, right? So what we do is we take the number that's being multiplied repeatedly. This is called your base. How many times are we multiplying the base by itself? That's an arrow, by the way. One, two, three, four, five. So we raise it to the fifth power. So some people call that the exponent, and some people will call it a power. So you can read this as five raised to the fifth power. Okay. We don't need to solve it. All we need to do is write an exponential form. So what would be the exponential form for number 2? The base is 2. Instead of saying 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, count how many there are. 4 would be your exponent. 2 to the 4th power. The next one is we're going to, this is called expanded form. So we're going to write the following exponential form in expanded form. So you take your base. 8. How many do we need? According to my exponent, 3. So 8 to the third power, sometimes people call it 8 cubed, by the way, is 8 times 8 times 8. 10 to the sixth power. Take your 10. How many of them do I need? 10 of them. 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Again, we don't have to solve it. Can you see how students will mix up exponential form with what we did up here, repeated addition. So that's common um, error that a lot of you will fall victim to. So now we get into the algebra P. G raised to the third power. So for any number G, how many do I need? According to my exponent, three. So G times G times G. And I can't believe I just did this, boys and girls. I used the multiplication symbol, didn't I? All right, so we should do g dot g dot g. My bad. Okay, now we have to go back to examples 1 through 4 and use a calculate to evaluate the expression. Do I really need to do that for you? I don't think so. You guys can do that. Now we're going to do examples 1 through 4. I'm sorry, we're going to do these exercises here. What's the difference between 3g and g to the third? So what they're asking for is not the difference in math term, but in ELA term. What's the difference between 3g and g to the third? Well, what would that be as an addition expression? We did this a couple lessons ago. Remember 3g means g plus g plus g. Is that g to the third? No, it's the repeated multiplication, not addition. So there is a huge difference between these two. For instance, if I put a value 3 here, 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9. But if I did 3 over here, 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27 big difference. You can't make that mistake. So for example, is 6. The only difference with 6 is we put them in parentheses. Do you know why? If we don't, watch what it looks like. It almost looks like we're raising 8 to the fourth power, right? We don't want that. So anytime you're dealing with decimal, we always put the number inside parentheses just to show that we're doing 3 to the 8, 10, 3 and 8 10 to the fourth power. So this is your base. So 3 and 8 10 time 3 and 8 10 time 3 and 8 10 times 3 and 8 10. 
So we have to write down an expanded form. We also are going to have to multiply these together to evaluate them. Okay. What I would do is, I'm not going to show you how to multiply because you guys can do this. I would do 3 and 8 tenths times 3 and 8 tenths. And do that again. So whatever you get there. And then we'd have to multiply those two together to save yourself some work. Okay? I feel like the rest of it you could do on your own. And um, with fractions and decimals, best of luck.